game where Corky slightly wins. If this Camille does get a hit, though, the oh, game over. is yeah. just over. Yeah, instantly over. 30 seconds until minions but fall. how does the Camille plan to do that? So like, J-Team realizing the way that you need to play this is to not allow any early warts so you can play with the bushes, but it seems like Halpigs don't realize that you need the early ward. Yeah, I do think TF will just be fine either way. Yeah, of course, but like you just lose a lot of pressure. Like, a lot of pressure. And I really hope Hot Pot does pass towards the top lane. Doesn't worry too much about invading the Sejuani. Uh, and just focuses on killing this Camille. Because she can't do anything. Oh, okay, now he's looking for someone. Okay, acceptable. <laughs> Thought got to missed his first hook on a wall there. Yeah, I did, I did. I, I panicked. But that was blasphemy, that's my bad. Got to put a ward down and one of his teammates missing pinged it. That's interesting. Honestly, respectable. I, I hope it was Guan Guan. Trying to explain that it was supposed to be in his lane. His lane. Guan Guan started W. Sometimes you see the E start on TF. The reason I'm so passionate about it, by the way, is that PSG do it every single game they have a Twisted Fate. Yeah. And they do quite well with the pick. Better than anyone else? I don't think there's much argument to be had about that. Yeah. Problem with PSG, though, is they kind of do that with every champion. <laughs> this is... Yeah, maybe they're just a really good team. Who knows? Guang Guang playing this early matchup pretty well. Sure. Getting good damage on the Camille. Yeah, Nuli as well. Just winning a trade very heavily, it seems, in the mid lane. Yeah, I think the first couple trades can go Tristana's way, but you see eventually Tristana jumping on Corky and he just trades back more damage than he has been dealt. And Hot Pot is not going to rush for this top wave. He's actually going to invade Lava. Seen on a ward, though. No smite for the Sejuani. No smite for the Nidalee either. Lava does hit. Hit his smite timer and get it back up. Yeah, nice. Next wave is going to be really easy for Nuli to push. It's just a one auto minion there. Uh, yeah, but because he's had to use his smite on the Sejuani, Hot Pot is going to treat himself to this red buff. And I don't think he should be in a rush to leave. Once he takes this, has pinged on his way to the enemy Krugs. It is now Hot Pot waiting for his flash. We're going to decide against the dive and just decide against staying to fight the Sejuani. Take the red buff. It is a win, and I'm pretty sure this is not how the lane goes. Yeah, I agree. Not sure what's happened that Minji's had to base so early, but well played by Nuli. This might be the first time we've actually seen Minji on the corky side of this matchup. Generally, he is just an absolute Tristana merchant. Yeah. Oh, nice hook there from Goldtone. Oh. Cancels out the hit part, but it's a... Flash Pulverize answering back. Ignite even dropped onto Ching 9. He's going to lose both of his summoners. Yeah, ends up trading ADC sums for support sums, which always feels good if you are the support. Uh, will the Observer swap the Nidalee and Norlis around? What's the under over on that? I think, let's go with 15 minutes. I'm going to go with under. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm 15 minutes in game time. I, I'm think thinking over. it might just. You think we're going over 15 I think minutes it might before just stay we swap? like this the whole time. Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Minji now having a bit of time with the trades. Yeah, his back is so much better than Corky's. Even the cull is already better than the teal tier, but he gets a longsword on top of it. I'm surprised we're not. Even looking guy. for dives even if it's not a dive just a gold card and a spear and Lakai's feeling a whole lot less safe yeah I mean he's already down a lot of CS admittedly Guang Guang doing a great job of yeah almost doubling trolling. the Camille's CS already uh, and his prior really let Nidalee feel a lot safer to invade and get herself a camp lead up against the Sejuani Nidalee should be able to buffer this oh he Failed doesn't it. he's gonna have to flash maybe no no okay he's alright but if Ursan had sums there, he dies for that. Or loses his flash, at least. Ching-9 takes a tower bot as well, but should be okay. Yeah, I mean, that's going to change the swing of how mid lane's looking. 
Yeah, that doesn't feel good at all as a Tristana. A lot of sustain on this champ these days, so he might just have too much of an item advantage. He did recall. Got himself a refillable. Unless he already had that. Maybe he did. Chi Chi getting a little aggressive in the bot lane. Chang Nine has no summoners and wants to make him feel the heat. Uh, and Abyss, or sorry, Hot Pot. Mixing up my Helpig's junglers. There are a lot of them. Yeah, three now. <laughs> uh, Hot Pot feels like he needs to get something done at this point. I feel like he hasn't nearly invaded enough and yet yeah, is on the Void Grubs now. This is a good start. As uh, Hava has snuck in. This is a, this is what you were talking about, right? Level 6 Camille. Yeah, level 6 Camille. We have both sums on Wang Wang, but is it going to matter? He's used his gold card now. Going to have to try and run. Flash under tower. I mean, he's going to be completely safe. Yeah, so Shwani not even in range to apply the passive. Yeah, just, I mean, I, I see the angle, I see what they're going for, but lane state just not really allowing it where it was. Lava, though, he might just look again. This has to work out. They're going to lose a dragon, perhaps, if this doesn't. Kai taking a tower shot and Guangguan not really losing all that much HP. I mean, this has to be an absolutely stunning dive. Here it comes. I think they're going for it. I mean, Lakai, he's going to have to try and get the ult. He does. Hexy Gold made him. And it should be good enough. First blood for Lakai. I think yep. Guangguan flashing away from tower. Not really yeah. doing himself any service there. Yeah, I think I think that was a mistake too. I think he maybe just thought he could get away from the Camille without getting ulted. But flash match by Lakai. Uh, and Helpigs will trade across the map the Dragon. Uh, but Lava and Lakai will be very happy with that because Lava is coming back uh, with his ulti now. Uh, even if Hot Pot takes his bot camps, he does not care. He's going to go kill this TF again. Uh, and you now have a win condition in this game as oh, JT. Oh, Tone looking for the flash hook. Not quite connecting, but it was a nice Spear look. Does. The spear does. and stun. There's another one. Hot Pot flashing into Lakai, even cancelling out that scissor kick. As he does get the heal on and maybe Lakai under trouble. Your son will be here to protect, though. Uh, that was weird. Minji just walked straight into melee range of a Nautilus and got right clicked. Yeah, while having a spear on him. Yeah. The mark. Yeah, I think maybe trying to bait for Lakai, but Lakai is not that useful. Yeah, and Lakai has lost so much for this, by the way. Yeah, Wave was pushing away from him by the look of it. Yeah, and Teleport just used to get back to this. Yeah, on the bright side for Lakai. Uh, Wang Wan's just dead. The moment Lava can be bothered to come up here. I don't think they even need the Camille to kill him. I noticed as well, by the way, the Camille passive gives you a magic damage shield. That's depressing. Yeah, true. I wonder if it matters about... Like, it does matter. Like, if it's a regular auto that lasts at you, then it should be a physical damage shield. If it's the stack deck, then it should be magic damage. If it's a card, it also should be magic damage. Okay, Hexic Ultimatum almost back. Guan Guan. He should be aware that he's in trouble. Glacial Prison connects as a kick. I mean, he is just completely dead. Yep. Maybe he trade back. No, it gets a slow, but that's not going to be good enough. Yeah. There's actually just not an ounce of counterplay to that. Uh, Guan Guan had already made the mistake that caused this death earlier by using his flash. And Lakai is going to appreciate the opportunity to get back into the game. Doesn't feel like these kills oh. quite make up for the CS he's lost yet. It's only helped by that tower play, though. Yeah. Yeah, so he might have evened up top lane. Uh, um, then again, maybe not with Twisted Fate passive factored in as well. True, yeah. Really have to oh, beat this champion. Bot. Looks like a trade of ultimates coming out as God Tone will use his onto Chi Chi. Lightning Crash coming through. This Nautilus should be dead. Ching 9. He has to be very careful. Yersan Flash. Pulverize. It's going to be a trade. Yeah, Yersan's going to go down. It's a one for one. Yeah, Ursan absolutely sprints a kill into Cheng 9 there. Does trade the flashes, but just gives him back a kill. That feels amazing if you're Cheng 9, who's starting to fall really far behind him. Farm. Uh, as well as gold with these kills going over. Oh, oh. Missed the cannon. 
Uh, and it's Chen Nine, very far forward, as he can afford to be on the Ezreal, but once Godtone walks next to him like this, uh, and then doesn't react in time to the Alistair Flash, kind of has just sealed his fate. Uh, nice barrier from Chi Chi to block the Ezreal. Chen Nine honestly played this immaculately the entire 2v2, just to trade back as much damage as he did, and then eventually calmly reacting to the alley combo, flashing away. <laughs> oh, seemed like Goldtone was happy with the result there. Yeah. Uh, it's a one for one. Ignore the summoners. Game is neck and neck in terms of gold. Yeah, Kong Lan, I mean... Has Hoppot here with him. Yeah, this is so scary. Nuli does have teleport as well. I think this is a scary dive for JT. Yeah, through comes Nuli. Headbutt. Ursan. Those pops. I mean, Lava is going to get stunned up. Dead. Does have to flash the Kai as well. I mean, they're kiting this very, very well. Uh, they had to recognize they need to go on the Alistair there. Ursan walked the entire way around and then back up to this tri brush. Uh, he had no way to run down because there was an Nautilus waiting for him in River, so he had to walk through all three members uh, on the Alistair there. Uh, so they actually had him killed if they played for the alley kill. Also, just surprised that Gongwon has yet to use Destiny. Yeah. Very true. No cleanse on anyone. On oh, the we're side still of looking, though. Hexacult Ultimatum available. See if the power surge coming out of this Nidalee is going to be enough. Destiny used now, but there's no way out. The CC chain is just unprecedented. Minji even looking for Hot Pot. He's 1 HP. Rocket Barrage shields the deal. Yeah, terrible use of the Twisted Fate ulti that you could have used to regain some tempo now running back out onto the map. Or used it to realize that Yersan is an absolute dead cow walking. Yeah. Yeah, there's a yeah, usually when you make a play like that, the TF will just ult anyway, just yeah. to give his team complete vision. Very broken. Uh, but instead uses it to try tank up a combo from the Alistair, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, didn't 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 really have any uh, real usage when he did use it. This just, I mean, you're never getting a teleport. Yeah, well, I mean, the there's just no Sejuani and Alistair, Camille Alistair running at you. You're never TPing. And then Hoppo is here. Oh, flash hook! Everything's landing here. This one is going to have to pop that Alistair ult and try and run on away. Ult coming through here for Gold Tone, and Yusan going to go down and see if there's any more follow up. Ching Nine certainly getting aggressive. The arcane shifts forward, but yeah, good of the Hellpigs to be able to trade something for that dragon. Now, Guangan's still quite a bit stronger than the Camille at this point, despite the three kills going over to the Yeah, Lakai. I mean, we, we, we didn't. Oh, oh hot yeah, hold up. Hot Park getting low, does get a heal off, and maybe gonna try and trade back. Chi Chi and Ching Nine battling it out. It's gonna force a flash away from the Ziri God Tone and Lava as well, duking it out, but no one does go down. Ooh, Chi Chi uses both his sums, but he does finish off Hot Pot. Yeah, just Hot Pot for nothing. Oh, God. Chi Chi <laughs> is very close to dying. One thing I was going to say before that fight rudely interrupted me uh, yeah. is that we saw Evie in an even worse place than this as the Twisted Fate. Yeah, still be useful. Be incredibly useful yeah. that game. He just didn't play for himself and went and stunned people because this fate has a very short cooldown point and click range stun instant yeah might i add or close enough to it it's not like nautilus ulti yeah, yeah. where you at least you know get to make peace <laughs> and you have your you time. have the opportunity to make it halfway across the map as ziri yeah whereas with tf gold card just kind of flies out very quickly chang nine most gold in the game though yeah, Much closer I mean, game. Once again, down in kills, but up a significant amount of gold. Ooh, nice uh -huh. sidestepping. Happy feet for Gong on there, who cannot fight Minji. And this is a problem because he might never be able to fight Minji at this rate. Oh, Gong on. Bad news, pal. Actually, Hot Pot's here. Spear connects onto the Sejuani, and with that, doesn't seem like there really should be any real attempts at diving. Hot Pot's so Good accurate with these, these spears, spears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No setup for him. Uh, outside of the God Tone on this Nautilus. Yeah, and Guan Guan, but we just never saw them care up, no. actually care that they have the easiest Nidalee setup of all time. Ah, uh, J-Team are getting away with murder here. 
they could pretty easily be engaged on, but Helpings just feel too weak. They're happy with their Tristana in a side lane. Yeah, and it's so deceptive, right? This Camille's 3-0, and but is probably the weakest champion on, the, on the side of J-Team. Yeah. Yeah, maybe just on the map in general. Yeah, maybe this Nidalee's weaker. No, the haunting guys at 16 minutes. You're almost finishing up that Leandris, but... Yeah, and, well, though you didn't pick the Camille to lane against a Tristana, you're going to spend some time laning against a Tristana here as Lakai. And, uh... It's going to suck. Yeah. Desperately trying to get to Trinity Force. Yeah, I don't know if you even outscale the Tristana as Camille. Yeah, I don't think so. Tristana would have to really mess up to lose that 1v1. Mess up her rocket jump and her ulti. Yeah, because ultimately you can ult the Trist, but... Well, she just she ults just you out. She you out and yeah. she's free. You can never hookshot the Tristana. Tristana is a free Yordle. Chi-Chi very consistently just getting 20 CS ahead of the clock both these games. Is kind of in his element on this area. He loves to play the champ. Oh, we're just another free tower. Oh, we're teleporting. I guess we're just teleporting to match a tower. Is it time for a base race? I think you're very down for that as the Hellpigs. Yeah, I think so too. Wait, surely we stay, no? Uh, I guess it's being answered. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, you're not down for that anymore. I really do wish it was Guan Guan rotating to these lanes rather than people rotating to the TF lane, which is generally what you want to yeah, do well, against the TF. Guan Guan going to force out his lightning crash. His lava seems to be stuck in a very peculiar position. It does have that Arctic Assault to get him over to this Hextech gate and should be completely fine after using it. Did Chi Chi not taking cleanse this game might legitimately make this game unwinnable. Or J Team. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, there's a lot of priority oh, put on hook lands. these days. Yeah, Minji hooked up, just gonna be taken out. It's gonna be Ching Nine, probably the person you want it to be on. Yosan though, he gets stunned and absolutely sends it. Just just two on God sent that one. Flashes into Insect a Twisted Fate into the thin air that is defending his tier two with him. Uh, against four members of Hellpigs, uh, who will now pick up this dragon and put themselves in a very commanding position to win this game. Uh, I think uh, Lightning should hit the same place twice before Hellpigs lose this game oh. in the position they're in. Hop Pop misses one spear all game and it's on a scuttle <laughs> grab. Minji caught out by God Tone, by the way, on this Nautilus. Yeah, uses Valkyrie to. Bit of a monster on the Nautilus. Yeah. Old yeah, Gotham. Looking Forgot. good. Looking good. No, no, no. Your son, I mean. Yeah. Like maybe Lava could commit his ulti on the Twisted Fate there. And... But he wasn't even under tower, was he? I think he nah, was he out wasn't. of tower range. Nah, he wasn't. And Much harder to pull off the alley flash, hit them back in shenanigans in front of four people, right? You're just going to get disrupted. Yeah. Well, in this case, he didn't even need to be disrupted. He just got Chain one shot. Nine. Just yeah, landed. absolute beast. How big, though? I mean... Nailed Chi Chi with two Qs. They're looking good. Dare I say it. It's damn well winnable. They, Helpix should win this game. All right, let's not jinx it that bad. Chi Chi, still very strong on the Ziri. Very strong. I guess the saving grace for JT. Oh, oh, my God. Lava's just dead. Yeah, Lava hooked up. He's going to have to use his ultimate. See if Ching Nine is willing huh? to commit over that wall. He will, but... No, God too, Tone's too not late. willing. God Tone's not willing to ulti the Sejuani. He did earlier, but yeah, I mean... Maybe he just won it for the Ziri. Ultimately, Ziri is all that matters at the moment. Yeah, surprising with Baron coming up, though. Just put a lot of pressure on J-Team. Had they killed the Sejuani 10 seconds before Baron spawns, but... Klangon... Getting very excited to try and find a gold, gold card. Look, I see oh, this. nice final. Surely we alters the TF there, no? Anyway, fight breaks out. God Tone's in the middle of it all. He's stunned up. He's eliminated. Guang Wang very, very low. And the rest of Hell Pigs, likewise, are just running for their lives. Ching Nine finally arriving. Actually, he's just going to hex gate away. I cannot I agree believe you, yeah. Guang Wang did not just press Yes, yeah, that's R. egregious. Yeah, I, I agree with what you said. People, you can use the Twisted Fate ulti like a blue trinket. Yeah. 
Uh, and with a very fed Tristana, two item Tristana there with you, uh, Lakai just gets one shot. By the way, Helpings are hitting Baron. Yeah, Lava gonna come and check it. And Lava. there's no real way for Helpings to turn because God Tone is only just respawning. It was actually only Lava on the map. Not a bad call from the Helpings. A good attempt, but good wherewithal as well for Lava to realize there could be shenanigans. Treachery afoot. But we got to be a little bit more liberal with our destiny here, guys. Yeah, we've only seen him use it once. And it sucked. No, he didn't even really use it for the vision, let alone oh, the teleport. Oh, he used it mid when he got Chi Chi's ult as well. Oh, okay. I didn't realize he ulted mid on that play. But, uh, yeah, still just not enough. I mean, it should be when you're sitting there with Twisted Fate ulti in a game like this that is very slow, it should just be burning a hole in your pocket to have this Twisted Fate ulti. You should be pushing top and not trying to fish for a random gold card on the Camille under her tower and making your team rotate to you, you should just go leave. Just go ult. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, and you just go back to your lane and do what you were doing. Yeah. It's not like the APTF that we used to see, right? Where you just kind of need every ult to matter. No, not at all. Or still just a split push threat. Split push menace on the Twisted Fate. You're like an AD carry with teleport, essentially. Yeah. Oh, flash... Gonna be used to get away from Lava and his Sejuani nice. ult. And Raw multi. Turns around with that Nautilus ult onto Minji, who does have to Valkyrie away. Gold card coming through. Yersan getting low. But here's the Alistar popped and Chi Chi. Chi Chi's the one with all the damage. Chi Chi's gonna come in and completely destroy the Hellpig's health bars. It's only the carries left alive as Hot Pot. He's gonna have to do some healing. Ching 9 now back to relatively okay HP. J Team starting up this Baron. It's definitely not. All done. Teleport coming through now for Nulli. A lot of range. There's Pope that can come through. The Flash going to be committed. Hot Pot flashed on double. He's somehow trying to make it away though. No! It's going to be Chi Chi who once again finds the damage. But Ching 9 now has got everyone so low. Arcade Shift can seal the deal. There's one kill. So many low health bars. Chi Chi though does remain full HP. But Ching 9 refuses to let this Baron die. Yeah, hero play at the end there from Cheng Nine, and honestly, hero play from Hot Pot too. I don't know how he lived for as long as he did, uh, with how many flashes were commit onto him. Uh, yeah, crisis averted for Helpings, and it might even be a win for them if they can get on this dragon quickly enough. Though Sejuani is coming, and they don't have a jungler of their own. Sejuani is coming, but there's 380 carries. Can they kill it fast enough? 380 carries, normally not hitting. No, they can't, they can't They are hitting enough. it now, Gold Tony needs to try and peel this dragon. Lava. 3k HP, Lava doesn't know! He gets into the pit too late! Yeah, he didn't know he was waiting for his team, maybe worried about getting engaged on by God Tone. Based on where God Tone is standing there, you think his team is coming? Three dragons for Halpigs. It's yeah. Hextech Soul. Yeah, and it's a nice ulti from God Tone, but look at TF ulti in here. Go immediately on the altered Alistair and then the gold card him. Very puzzling way to play that fight by the Twisted Fate. Look at Chi Chi's damage though, just yeah. shredding. Yeah, once Chi Chi sees the gold card come out, he is in there. Cheng Nine putting in so much work in this game as uh, his top laner was out damaged by Nautilus. <laughs> Almost twofold. But it is God Tone's actually. Nautilus. So. Yeah, true. Probably plays jungle Nautilus at some he point. Did. He did. Yeah, yeah, he did. In the summer of uh, last year. He played one game of it. How'd that go? He lost. Oh. Can't win them all. Planning to win this Nautilus game, though, is God turn. I mean, it's the damn closest Halpigs have been this split. And one dragon. I mean, they don't have to force any issues. They can just play it slow, calm, collected. All they really need to do is flip a dragon and win. Yeah, and they will have three chances to do so. And then maybe even a fourth against the Elder. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the Elder becomes a lot easier. So does Baron when you have Hextech Soul, especially with three range, four range champs even. Yeah, and one of them that builds an RFC too. Very high range champs as well. This is, Yeah, this comp is oppressive if they get the Hextech Soul. Baron started Baron for J-Team. Baron started Minji, yeah. Minji and Nova. Lava hitting. Well, Tone going to have to find a way back in. Destiny probably needs to be popped as soon as possible. It's not going to be. As the J Team uh -oh. do get off. The damage coming through, though, from Ching 9 is insane. Yeah. He gets it. Oh. Watch out, though. 
Don't Can come follow. out with just in time. No, they don't come out. Got Got damage. Flash. I mean, it's really... There's, I know there's a lot of AD carries Ooh. in this game, but this is a battle between the actual... 80 oh carries. God. Ching 9, he uses Arcane Shift forward, but Yersan's not found his way on. Ching 9 is going to have to do so much damage, it's going to be Hotpot taken out immediately. Soon will follow Nuli. Guang Guang remains alive. God Tone running for his life. He's probably going to go down. Baron likely to follow. But if Ching 9 can do anything, this is the time to do it. He's tried his damnedest all game. But just like that, the snap of a finger. Yeah. So many of his teammates just fall around him. Yeah, Hellpigs have so much damage, but they can't kill oh, anything. Oh, the damage from Ching 9 Guang Wan here. I mean, the damage is so easy for him Makai to land if he here, follows though. up on a gold card. No Hextech ultimatum, but they are just going to let this Baron go over. It's three minutes of Baron now for J-Team as they pull ahead. Yeah, watch this Hex Flash come in from Ursan onto two immediately. Nuli and Hotpot just deleted by this Alistair. What a hero play out of Ursan. Uh, and then Godtone quickly mopped up after, so very easy Baron. And now Cheng Nine's got a game. He's got to carry against Baron as Ezreal, which is an almost impossible feat. Yeah, Cheng Nine slowly working towards his fourth item. Rest of his team really working towards their third. Yeah, QSS finished for Chi Chi now. So they we're ahead at one stage. Now they're down 3k gold. It is a minute and a half until this Hextech Soul. If they're able to pick that up, huge swing, of course. Yeah, I mean, how are you getting out of your base? Chick 9 can't really deal with these minions. I don't know, coming to help out. Yeah, Dragon in one minute. I think you should still fight this if you're helping. Or at the very least, Suicide Nidalee in for a steal. Play now being looked at. Flash forward. Ooh, nice, nice buffer, buffer. though. This is why Tristana gets first pick. An immediate answer as well from the True Shot Barrage to deal with a bit of this minion wave, but it will be the tower going down. Nuli though, great reaction time, saves himself a death there. It's still JT marching down this top lane though. Cheng Nine still playing so aggressively, trying to find these cues where he can against the Baron waves. Oh, hook Makai lands onto Makai, gold dead. card could come through. No, oh, we're not committing. Cheng Nine has to be careful. He, the entire team relies on pretty much oh, Israel. Guangguan. Nice poke. Guangguan ghosted on in. He finds a gold card, but it's onto Lava, not the member that you really want. Yes, I'm going to pop holes as a trade. Gotone will be going down. Can J Team fight this and win the game? It's looking likely. Lakai finds his way. It's only Ching Nine. He's tried to do this whole game by himself, but a 1v9 is not possible on this occasion. Unfortunately, they were so, so close, but it's going to be J-Team taking the series 2-0. Yeah, one dragon from Glory, maybe for the Hellpigs. But they don't get it done at the end of the day, just better team fighting from J-Team. And the 7-0 Camille gets the job done. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm convinced. No, so. I'm not at all. Why, the counterfeit felt like it went about as well as it could, and the Camille was still just getting punished into her tower by a 0 3 0 twisted fate. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think ultimately, Halpix probably needed to spend some time in the top lane within Italy. Uh, even if you're not finding the dives, if you're not confident enough to go for those plays, preventing Gong from dying. Yeah, I think also, once that has happened and your twisted fate is 0 3 0, that is not the time you start going top. Yeah. It's too late at that point. That ship has sailed. You need your TF to now rotate. Because he's Twisted Fate. He still just brings a point and click stun at the end of the day. Even if he's not very strong himself, still plenty of damage, even just with a Kraken Slayer and an RFC. Uh, and you saw in some of those fights, especially the poke out of Nidalee and uh, Ezreal, doing a lot of damage. Oh, it's so sad to see Ching 9. That guy performed yeah, out so of his well. mind. Yeah. Actually just did his absolute damnedest, but and unfortunately... shout out Godtone. 